Welcome back class. Now that you are experts at anatomy of the lower leg and ankle, we'll proceed by discussing a couple of conditions. Ankle sprains and fractures typically occur when the ankle joint goes beyond its normal range of motion as noted in this picture. The structures that get damaged in this process are structures that we covered in our anatomy lecture. Who can tell me what structure this is? Anthony, that's right! The anterior talofibular ligament. Well done! The other structure is another structure we discussed in our anatomy lecture. Diane. What's the answer? You got it. Calcaneofibular ligament. Excellent. If the ankle goes beyond its normal range of motion, a fracture will occur. This particular fracture is known as a push-off fracture. It's called a push-off fracture because this bone, known as the talus, pushes off into this bone, known as the tibia. We're going to take a quick look at a video produced by Mayo Clinic on injuries to the ankle. An ankle sprain, an extremely common joint injury, weakens your ankle. There are three ligaments on the outside of your ankle. These ligaments are somewhat more fragile than the ligaments on the inside of your ankle. Usually people roll their ankle inwards and in doing so tear the fibers of some of those ankle ligaments. This completes the conditions PowerPoint. The next lesson we have will be orthopedic skill and assessment. Thank you.